strangers with nothing in common will be left in the wilderness to test their will to survive, tethered by a six-foot cable and forced to work together to reach rescue. Can they survive the elements? Can they survive each other? Someone take this off! I'm Jay Morrow, 31 years old, professional bull rider. I've been a professional bull rider for 12 years. Riding bulls is all about reaction. I'm accustomed to hunting and fishing, but uh, being here in Panama and in the jungle, it's gonna be a whole new ball game. You know, people who irritate me and get under my skin, you know, there are people who are arrogant, uh, a little over the top maybe. My name is Matt, I'm 31 years old, and I own a specialty outdoor store. I've taught at two uh, colleges out west in uh, backcountry skills. I'm very excited to be put into the jungle to see if I can measure up to other outdoorsmen and consider myself an actual bat Jay and Matt are dropped at the edge of a dense, cave-filled jungle in northern Panama. They have just 10 days to trek through perilous terrain and extreme conditions to reach rescue, all while locked together by a six-foot tether. How we doing, sir? Hey, man. Panama, huh? We in the mix of it. Yeah. Jay, tomorrow. Jay, I'm Matt Keating. Nice to meet you, Matt. Good to meet you, man. You know, I see Matt tucked in nice and neat, got ball cap on and glasses, and you know, I'm thinking I have an inner city nerd. Uh, <laughs> you know, we'll find out how he is. We got a boss, got a tether. Let's check it out. I wasn't worried about having a cowboy pull for a partner. I was actually relieved. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. He could have been carrying a briefcase and uh, Palm Pilot. Well, let's go ahead and put a leash on, huh? Get it. Once Jay and Matt lock the tether in place, it can't be unlocked until they reach rescue in 10 days. Just like the present. Cozy, right? <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Let's see what we got real quick. Yeah. <laughs> the edge isn't great in the state that it's in now, but the other option is uh, Tiny Paul Bunyan. Not that jungle appropriate. Let's go with that. I agree. Yeah. On to starting fires. I definitely both that. Yeah, we have a magnesium block with a ferrocerium rod embedded in it. With the pot, we also get the mesh bag, both for carrying and for catching. Seems oh, like we, we agree already. That's easy. Let's get it, get out of here. Yeah. Jay and Matt have 10 days to reach the extraction point 57 miles to the northeast. Between them and rescue are thick, deadly jungles, tight, bat-infested caves, and miles of raging rivers. This is some thick jungle, for sure. Do you want to go in here? I don't even know if this is safe. Matt, come on. Let's just go. I'm a professional bull rider. This way I am is I have one pace. Let's go. Oh, you're the bull rider. Well, OK, then. We see the bamboo, and we know that it's a valuable resource. And everything to do with jungle survival, bamboo is one of the major resources. We don't know much about bamboo. We just know you can do, use it for a lot of different things. Hang on, we got hornets. Oh, yeah, we do. Uh, Ooh, hornets are. Let's get out of there a minute. Whoa. Wait a minute. Oh. oh, that is a tremendous amount of pain. Oh, still, still in the ears with a knife. Yikes. You know, I, I just said hornets and I started, I started leaving, so I don't know if I was pulling him behind me or what, but it didn't take long for us to get out. Not at all. And do inform me if you feel any difficulty breathing. This whole tethered thing doesn't work if one of us goes down. I'm good. What a cowboy. I'm also thinking before we make camp, that's the best time to dump out. Do what? Make poop before you squat. I assume there's no uh, evil biting things here. All right, we're about to begin episode one of my off-Broadway show called Poop Monologues. Are you scared of your, in your boots or what? What, dude? Do you always take your boots off before you squat? Take your pants off. You are too, too. detailed in everything you do. I'm gonna say, man, I would rather be thoughtful and careful than walk around in poopy boots. Whoa, jeez. Almost ended things early. 
So I got my leaves. Feeling good about that. I don't need to be talked through it. You just do what you gotta do. Got my hole dug. Feeling good about that. All right, dude. Don't look me in the eye for the next 24 hours. I don't want to have to sit through that too many times. When it gets dark here, it gets dark here quick. You know, there's no mercy. So we see this big cave. Maybe it's some place to sleep the night. I'm starting to think that maybe, uh, maybe fire is the way to go. It's pretty flat if we want a cowboy style, sleep on either side of the fire. You know, Matt just describes, you know, he teaches this. This is a course in his class of, of learning how to start fire. So, you know, my, my confidence really boosted. The challenge right now is to refine these materials down to almost a powder so that that spark lands on a single piece of matter that is so small it passes it on to other small refined pieces of matter to slow. Simpler words, we want a damn spark. Wow. There we go, there we go, there we go. There it is. That is not a success yet. We are going to need some more feathery stuff. This is gonna go up fast, fast. See, this is what I'm talking about. I think we lost some bud. Man, oh man. We did have a fire. We didn't treat her right, and she left. Story of my life. All right, tomorrow, 10 times the tinder. So first night, sleeping in the dirt. We don't have a fire. It's going to get better tomorrow. Oh, dude. It just sucks. Now, with the tether of being tied up, we can't leave. You know, I can't get away from snoring. Seriously? This is ridiculous. Day two, we wake up, you know, I wake up at daylight. Uh, I shouldn't say wake up so everyone went to sleep. I actually got a guilty amount of sleep, and I think that my uh, audible sleep kept Jay up a little bit. Our priority for today is to work on fire. Fire allows us to disinfect water. Just keep holding it up. It needs air and flame. Just keep grabbing palm fronds. We are so close. Bring that flame to places where we need it. Watch your tether. I'd be happy to burn the tether. Well, we definitely have completely and empirically identified the best tinder source. That's fire. We had fire, and it was an unbelievable feeling, you know, and we know water's coming soon. The goal is to have four canisters of water, two canisters of dry tinder, and uh, kind of build all that into a backpack. That's some beautiful cutting. They'll write songs about you. Machete J in Panama. All right, I'm happy with that. These bamboo containers have allowed us to foil, dump, run on down, and then once we really kept that process going for four or five hours, those are all full. I think we're done. Yep, we're all done. Sweet. I'll just drink it out. Just uh, being cautious here. Oh, hell. We're definitely making one or two more of those. Right? I like it a lot. <laughs> that's, a, that's a victory. You all right? Mm -hmm. Grab that. How's your uh, spine? Mm. Why don't we uh, post up right here? Let's no? go. OK. You don't want to take a quick no. Uh, check? No. You know, I, I did fall in the creek today. I don't know if that was the cause of the tether or not sleeping. That sure didn't help. Jay hasn't slept in 40 hours. If they're going to make any progress tomorrow morning, it's essential Jay get some sleep. The snore is definitely worse tonight. I hope I could try to beat him to sleep, but within two or three minutes, he's already whistling Dixie. Gosh dang it. I'm beat, dude. I'd pay big money right now to fall asleep. Good, buddy. Almost there. I'm very, very worried. 
I have been consistently falling asleep minutes after laying down in the dirt bed, and Jay's been pretty much staying up all night. Matt, uh, he's snoring like always. If I had earplugs, I might last a couple more days, but uh, if I don't, I'm, I'm done. You know, Billy Kidd killed somebody for snoring. That thought came across my mind last night. Can we hurry a little bit? All right, hang on. That looks like a big old lake right there. We just need to get safe. We need to get to water. All right, let's continue. The quicker, the better. I'm tired. Yeah, let's just pass out for the night. Jay hasn't slept in 85 hours. Another sleepless night would seriously jeopardize their chances of reaching rescue on time. You know, my snoring in this situation is a huge issue. Basically, the plan is he'll tug the tether once for shut up and twice for I'm about to shoot you. And that's really fair. And I will do my best to roll over whatever's going to make me stop breathing loudly. I actually got a couple hours of sleep last night, which is the most I've had uh, since we started, which is great because Jay really needed it, and we got to pound out some miles today. And everything's ready to go. I figure we head to the lake. I've lost a great deal of weight, which is fortunate coming into bathing suit season, but not the good kind of weight loss like the internal organ breaking down, fat supplies depleting, dehydration kind of weight loss. Look at that, look at that right there. Oh, that's a giant piece of protein. Where's it at? Straight ahead, and it's up on the wall there. Can you just whack it on the head with what you, and it's gone. Matt and Jay are hunting at night 18 miles from extraction desperately hoping to find food after eight days starving in Panama. Right there. Oh. oh, God. That was the real deal right there. Nice job, Jay. That's dinner. That is dinner, dude. Those are big, meaty legs. Jay's just got the eyes of a hunter. He picked it up, grabbed it with one swipe, boom. Hoping to find more than just a couple of frog legs, Matt builds a torch to try some night fishing. Matt, get over here. Jesus. Snake. What did you get there? Got a snake. Yes! This could change everything. It will change everything. Skin's tough on these babies. There she is. The menu as it is at this point, uh, freshwater eel and frog. We each had a frog leg. Ever had a frog before? Wow. Well, you know what, though? It's gonna sound silly, but never had frog that good before. <laughs> Day nine, it's time to get going. Is that driftwood? Something floating. Looks a little too perfect to be driftwood. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. This is a big old heavy canoe. We got a hole up front, but it's floating. Let's fix it. I feel good about this. Hey, these bees walking in the jungle.
I'm worried about the rain, worried about the wind and the crocodiles and the fact that the boat is filling with water. Other than that though, we're golden. I'll keep aiming for this island. It looks like it's the highest ground in the lake. So maybe from the top yeah, there. Yeah. Good advantage point, huh? <sighs> good work, good work. Well, my feet are officially just ruined. This is like if man and amphibian mated, this is how their feet would look. Ugh. Extraction coming right up. Oh uh, man, I hope this is the way. We've been trekking for hours through this jungle, trying to find the northern river system. Just keep listening for water. Just careful what you swing back. I see you, bud. You've been behind for 10 days. I see river. Hey, it opens up right there. It would be faster to just float down and we ain't floating nothing with this tether on. You want to take a drink, don't you? Well, I think we got to walk bracing each other on each other. All right, let's go. Let's see how this goes. Don't just dive in for the macho swim. Let's actually try to do this technically. Come on. Come coming. He's pointing us. Yeah, these rocks are tough. Your feet, your feet. Hang yeah, on. My feet. Huh? I steer. Whoa, you're the brakes. Whoa. Go, go! Stand up. I got you. You good? I'm good. Just slammed my knee. We have to find our extraction or we need to sit up for tonight. We just need to, we need to move until hey, we can. Hey, We got fishermen. Migos! Hola! <laughs> that is the greatest sight possible. Hey, hey. Come here. Come on, oh, oh, Migo. How are you doing? Oh, well, 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 Migo. Tether. Well, well. La. See? See? Hmm? See? Hey. <laughs> oh, oh, at last. Bueno, muchas gracias. Distance. <laughs> Finally. Freedom. Bueno. <laughs> Mama knows. Hang on, we can't leave this. It's all yours, man. Yeah, it's, it's litter. Anytime you go through something like this, the reward is, you can't explain it. Uh, I'm definitely proud of what we accomplished. I'm proud of Matt, of how he uh, went out of his comfort zone. And uh, we, we accomplished something big here, and it's something I'm gonna hang my hat on for a while. We come from two different worlds, uh, but we brought each other together, you know, to survive this. Matt's taught me a lot about slowing down and seeing things, you know, taking, not taking it for granted. Oh, yeah, see a little hut village? Yeah, right, man? That's great. Uh, Jay is, is pure cowboy, you know, and I, I tend to be a little bit more uh, nerdy. But after being given the opportunity to showcase my skills, I consider myself an actual bad Looking at this jungle for 10 days and it's always looked like a problem I needed to solve. It's absolutely beautiful when you're not trying to battle it. <laughs> Once again, he, he has detail. I'm just ready to get back, get some food. Give me a nice drink that don't taste like ash and ain't hot water. <laughs>